hello guys welcome back to my channel in our today's tutorial i'm going to show you on how to subtract the binaries using the one complement if you look at uh, the other video that i'd already shown you on how to work on uh, the binary addition and unlike the addition the case of a subtraction is uh, quite different and uh, this is how to go about it but before we go to the steps on how to ha uh, to subtract the binaries you need first to get yourself conversant on how to work with the binary addition for example 0 plus 0 for the binary addition is supposed to give you 0 while 1 plus 0 is supposed to give you 1 0 plus 1 is supposed to give you 1 while 1 plus 1 should give you 1 0 remember this is binary addition not the normal numbers therefore we have to 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 state it has 1 0 and not 10 then uh, the other thing we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 is supposed to give you 1 1 but we also have another scenario whereby we have 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 it should give you 1 0 1 plus when you had 1 then you had to 0 then you had to 1 it should give you 1 0 I hope we had to get on that okay let's move now to the next part or now to subtract the binaries using the one complement and guys before we dive into the whole thing if you are new on uh, this particular channel don't forget to subscribe and uh, for those who have already subscribed uh, don't forget to share with your friends who are facing the same challenging on the, the challenges on how to work on the binaries either addition subtraction conversion from one format to the other so these are the steps so step number one you need to ensure that uh, both numbers have the same numbers of bits by adding zeros to the left of the number with fewer bits. I hope that is clear. Then step number two, you generate a one complement of the negative number. Then step three, you add the generated value to the positive number. Then number four, if the answer obtained has more bits than the original number, the extra bit is known as the overflow. This particular one is our overflow. This you need now to take these particular bits to the least significant bits of the answer. Then lastly, if the answer obtained has the number of bits, number of bits similar to the original number, then you adapt that as the final answer. Okay, having done that, now let's move now to our example. Okay, so our first example we have, uh, let me try to image this one so that we can have a key, a key. I think that's better. Okay, for this one, I will try to drag it up to that point. So for, for this particular case, we have 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. We need to remember the rules. The rules for this one is that uh, you need first to ensure that uh, both numbers have similar number of they have a similar number of bits. Therefore, for this one, we will have if you look at uh, this one, this one, the number of bits that we have is a uh, two. Therefore, now we need not to add the zero. So that we have equal number so we'll have zero zero one one two zero 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 one two so we have a equal number of bits this is zero one one zero zero one one Okay, having that third, we move now to step number two. Step number two is to generate a one complement 
one's complement of the negative number. Now what that mean is that uh, for this one, this section two, this one, one complement will translate to, whenever we have a zero, you change it to one. Whenever we have one, you change to, to zero. Therefore, for this one, it will be one, 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 zero. So we have changed the zero to one, well, one to zero. Okay, after that, the next step is to go now to addition. We move now to step number three. You had the generated value to the positive number. So we have zero, zero, one, one, plus one, 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 zero. Remember the rules? One plus, this is addition, you had. One plus zero is always one. While one plus one is one zero. So you write the, the zero here. Then the next part, you carry the one to this part. So we have one, zero, one. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is equivalent to is equivalent to 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 1 0 therefore you write these as 0 then you carry 1 to this point 1 plus 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 0 now that one takes us to rule number four. If the answer obtained as more bits than the original number, the extra bit is known as the overflow. So this is our overflow. So this one is what we call the overflow. Now you take this one and you add it to the bits. So you take this one. So the the answer, which is a this one. I will take this one and I will add to 0, 0, 0, 1. The answer that we had in our previous case on the top here. Then you had with the overflow. Now, after you had to the overflow, what we will have next is uh, you will had 1 plus 1, which is uh, 1, 0. Now carry one here. One plus zero is one. Then the other is zero, zero. Therefore, the final answer for our case is zero, zero, one, zero. And that is how we had we subtract our binaries using the one complement. I hope it's that uh, simple and very clear. So as long as you are able now to interpret the steps, or rather to follow the steps from uh, step one all the way to the last step, you will find that the answer will be correct. So we will also come another scenario whereby the answer obtained will have a similar uh, similar bits as the original number. Therefore, the answer that you get will be the final answer. Okay, let's move to another scenario for practice purpose where we have uh, 1101 2 minus 0111 okay for the purpose of uh, okay let me take you to this other one so that you can also compare so that as i try to make the calculation we'll be able to make the follow up okay remember the rules step number 1 is to convert this one this section into one complement so the, for this one, the complement, the complement for this one will be 
one zero 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 two okay therefore we'll have one one zero one where the other one is one zero 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 okay so you had remember the holes you can as well as uh, try to compare with the t zone be looking at this one one plus zero one plus zero as you can see is uh, supposed to give you one zero plus zero is zero one plus zero is a uh, one okay let me try to wrap it out this is supposed to be is supposed to be one while one and one is supposed to give you one zero t zone now if you look at uh, the original number we had four four bits but for the next case we have five bits so remember what we had already done on the other previous case so what you're supposed to do you carry to the least significant bits that is zero one zero one so what i've done i have exempted this one i will exempt this one then i will add it here well uh, these are the keys it is what we have at the top so what i will need to do is to add the one here so what i'll have one plus one is then carry one one plus zero is one then one and the other one is zero so our final answer our final answer is a zero one one zero two it's that simple okay i hope you have understood how to work on a one complement okay let's do our last example okay our last example which is quite uh, simple we have one zero one zero one 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 remember the rule number one is to convert this one into a one complement so how do you work with one complement you have to convert this one convert this one. after convert this one it will be equivalent to okay so it will be equivalent to zero 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 then after that you go directly to the addition one zero one zero then we have zero 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 then you you had zero plus zero is zero one plus zero is a one zero plus zero is zero one plus zero is one is that simple so the final answer for our case is a one zero one zero base two is our answer so it is that simple so that is the end of uh, this particular case so in our next uh, lesson we will cover subtraction using the two complements so in case you are having a challenge with the, any particular number you can write it down on the comment section i will get back to you you need to get yourself conversant for in the addition so that you can apply the the same same methods to do the subtraction so these are the most basic uh, arithmetic addition in uh, binary addition for example zero plus zero is always zero while one plus zero is equal to one one plus zero plus one is equal to one one plus one is equal to one zero while 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 1 and lastly 1 plus 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 0 so as long as you are able now to interpret all these uh, basic arithmetic addition in the binary numbers you'll be able now to do all the subtraction that exists okay 
So in the next part, we are going to look at uh, the binary subtraction using the one complement. But uh, for this particular one, we are going to use the two complement methods for the binary subtraction. So step number one, you need to ensure that uh, both numbers have the same number of bits by adding zeros to the left of the number, not the keypad, left of the number with fewer bits. So the bits are supposed to be the same. If the first number has four bits, the other number is also supposed to have four bits. So in case the number has less bits, you need now to add zeros to the left hand side. Okay, step two, you generate the one complement for the negative number. Then uh, you add the generated value to the positive number. Then step number four, you had one to the generated value to get two complements. You had one to the generated value. You had one to the generated value. Because that's the most important part. You had uh, this one. You had uh, this, uh, this particular part. You had one to the generated one. Then you had the two complement. You had the two complements. If the answer obtained has more than more than more bits than the original number, the extra bit known as the overflow is always excluded from the answer because also this is also very key because we might have another scenario whereby you have more than more bits than the original number then lastly if the answer obtained has the same number of bits you retain the answer okay having done that now let's move to our example Okay, let me try to minimize this one so that we can apply the same, same, same concept to work on it. Okay, I hope you are able to see that uh, font. Okay, so our scenario number one. Okay, let me do this. Okay, I hope you are able to see. Okay, so number one, we have this one. We have 0011 and 01. Remember the rules? If the bits are less, if the bits are less, you need to do what? To add extra zeros to the left. And as you can see, on this one, we have two bits, where the other one we have, we have uh, four bits. Okay, let's try to do that. And also, guys, as you continue to watch, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Continue uh, supporting me by subscribing and also sharing to your friends who are, might be experiencing the same challenge on how to add the binaries and also at the same time, maybe on how to, ha or to subtract. Okay, so what you have, step number one, you need uh, to add the extra zero for this one. So for this one, I will highlight this one. So I will uh, add more zeros. Therefore, we will have zero 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 one so the first one in the next group we have the same number of bits four and the four this is four where the other one is four okay step number two you generate the one complement of the negative number of the negative number and this is my negative number so this is my negative number so the one complement one complement you need now to take to go back to the other video that i've prepared whenever we have zero you convert to one where the one it's converted to so for this one for this is a negative this is a negative one it will be one 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 zero so what we have done we have a generated a one complement for the negative number and this was our negative number which was zero one so so far we are at step number two okay let's move to step number three you had the written value to the positive number you had you had one one so what am i supposed to do i will have this generated number i'm still working with this one 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 zero plus one remember the rules whenever we have a zero plus one it's supposed to give you one therefore the answer will be one 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 one
now we are at now step number three so we have done we have added no sorry for that we are at uh, we have added one to the generated value one to the generated value okay let's move to the next part now our next generated part we have uh, to add the two complement number so our number this one this one which is a uh, zero zero one one well this other one which is one 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 plus we are trying to add now we need not to remember the the rules of addition one plus one is equal to one zero therefore you write one after you write one you carry you carry one the one that is remaining you carry it above okay let me draw a line here to separate so you carry we have one here so one plus one plus one is one one so we'll have one here then you have another one there then we have one plus zero plus one is equal to one zero then you write one then you carry that other one to above there where we will have one plus zero plus one which is equivalent to one zero then you write it as one zero so our answer is one zero zero one zero after adding zero zero one one plus one 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 you get one zero zero one zero okay having done that rule number five it says that if there's an extra an extra bit which is now known as the overflow this one this is our over this is our overflow so if you have an overflow unlike the case of one complement where we are supposed to add for the case of two complements you are supposed to exclude it therefore the final answer will be we will need to exclude the extra bits therefore my final answer will be zero zero one zero two that is our answer so what we have done we have excluded uh, the one hope up that to, to that point we are together okay let's do our example number two so that you can get yourself conversant on how to do the whole thing okay our example number two we have zero sorry one one zero one base two minus one 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 remember the rules if the bits are less you add so for this one for the negative one for this one we have uh, this one i will add and b Okay, so we have uh, for this one, for this one, we will have zero, one, one, one. Then the next step, this one, we convert it into one complement. And one complement, whenever we have zero, it's one. One is zero. So for one complement on this one, it will be one zero zero zero. Okay. After doing that, still the number that we have, we need to add two to two complements. So you had this number two one. Therefore, the answer that I will have, I will have one zero zero one. Remember the rules zero plus one is one while one plus one is one zero okay having gotten that now you go now to the normal addition which is one one zero one plus one zero 
0, 1. So this 1 plus 1, plus one is equal to 1, 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0, you get 1. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. Then we have 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, 0. So we have an overflow. So for the overflow, the rules are very clear. We exclude it. You need to exclude it from the working. So I will exclude this one. Therefore, my answer will be 0, 1, 1, 0. Base 2. So this is the answer. Okay, let's move now to our last example. Maybe I might give you, you can have maybe two minutes, you go through this one so that you can gauge whether you have understood. Two minutes. So one minute is over. Okay. Okay, let's do it now. So we have our case is a, uh, uh, remember the rules for this one? You convert it into one complement, and for the one complement, whenever we have ones, you convert to zero. So for one complement, this is a one complement, we will have zero, 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 zero. Then for the two complement, for the two complement, it's supposed to be zero, 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 zero plus one, which is a equal to zero. The answer will be zero zero one. Now after you get that, now you add with the to the positive number, and our positive number is one zero one zero. Plus zero 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 one. Then you add this one plus this one, you get uh, one one zero zero following the rules of addition therefore our final answer will be one zero one one base two so it is that simple for now to add or rather to add and the same time to subtract using the two complement methods hope up to that point you have understood on how to work with the two subtraction we have already looked at uh, the other scenarios. For example, we had already looked at uh, the binary addition, uh, binary subtraction using the one complement, and uh, the binary subtraction using uh, the two complements. But uh, for this specific video, I'm going to take you through the directory subtraction of the binaries. Okay, before we dive to the whole thing, we need to remind ourselves on the possible basic uh, arithmetic addition, which is uh, mostly used on both the addition and the subtraction. For example, 0 plus 0 is always 0, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, 0, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, 1, while 1 plus 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, 0. But uh, for this other scenario, where we have the direct, direct subtraction of, um, of the binaries, these are the possible basic arithmetic addition and uh, subtraction, supposed to be rather subtraction, sorry for this, it's supposed to be subtraction, supposed to be subtraction. So if you look at uh, the first scenario that we have, subtractions we have uh, 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 while 1 minus 1 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 and lastly whenever you subtract minus and minus you get always 0 so for 0 and 0 is equal to 0 1 and 1 is equal to 0 but when we have 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 okay Having done that, let's move now to the example so that you can practice using the principles that we have enlightened here. So we have our first example where we have 0, 1, 1, is base 2 is equal to minus 0, 1, base 2. So we are supposed to subtract this one from the other side. Okay, let me create two screens. 
so that we can make our work easy and peace. Okay, so these are the the possible subtraction. <coughs> Sorry. So we have zero zero one one and uh, zero one base two. Remember the rules. If the number of binaries are not equal on both sides, you need to add zeros on the left hand side. For example, for this one, for this one, we will have for this scenario, we will have zero 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 one. Therefore, our next equation will have will have zero zero one one base two minus zero 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 one base two. So this is this is that part. So what we have actually done is that uh, we have added zero on the left side so that you can have equal number of binaries of the two numbers these are four as you can see these are four while uh, these other one are also four okay let's go now to the direct for the direct subtraction where we have zero zero one one while well, the other one is a zero 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 one over minus if you look at uh, the instructions that we have whenever you subtract mine one plus one one minus one for example this one one minus one is always zero so you write zero while one minus zero is as per this rule 1 minus 0 is always 1. Then we move to the other part. 0 minus 0 as per the rule number 1 is always 0. While 0 minus 0 is 0. Therefore, we can conclude by saying that our final answer, our answer will be 0, 0, 1, 0 base 2 it is that simple as long as you are able to interpret this uh, basic subtraction uh, rules you will be able to get uh, everything correct so this is uh, correct i hope up to that point we are on the same uh, on the same part okay let's move to our next example where we have uh, one 1 0 1 base 2 minus 1 1 1 base 2 remember the rules number one is to ensure that uh, the number of binaries are equal if you have four binaries the other side should always have four so that they are equal on both sides so for you to ensure that the both sides have equal number of binaries you are supposed to add zeros on the left hand side therefore for this particular case i will have this one i will have zeros therefore we will have zero one 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 and two so that our our question will be one one zero one minus zero one 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 base two so if you look at the two scenarios the number of the number of uh, binaries are equal on both sides okay let me give you now maybe two minutes so that you can attempt following the the rules the three rules
Okay, one minute remaining. Okay, let's do it. So we have one, one, zero, one minus zero, one, one, one. So we have that scenario. Create another space there. Now let's look at uh, our rule number three. One minus one is always zero. So this is definitely like that. So this is sorted out. Okay, let's move to the next digits. We have zero minus one. Remember, zero is less than 10. Therefore, we'll borrow one from uh, the immediate left value to have. So you'll borrow this one, this part, so that you have, after you borrow, one will have 10 base 2, which is the same as 2, 10. Now, it means that we'll have 10 minus 1. Not 10, but 1, 0, minus 1, as per the rule, is equal to 1. So whenever you subtract 1, 0, minus 1, you will get 1. Therefore, I will write 1. Here. Now let's move to the other part. Now, since we borrowed one from the immediate left, the new value is a zero. So here we have zero after we borrowed the one. So the new value is zero. Therefore, if the new value there is a zero, it means that we we borrow, we carry this one. The one on this part, we got it, you know, to one, one. So we'll have a one, zero, minus one, which would give us one. So we'll have another one here. Meaning that after we borrowed the one, we remained with zero. Now this one takes us to the rule. This rule. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Since we borrowed the 1, it remains with the 0. Therefore, we have this 0 minus the 0, we get 0. Therefore, our now answer for this one will be the answer that you're supposed to give to your lecturer, supposed to be, is equal to 0, 1, 1, 0, base Two. So this is the final answer for our case. So the most important part on uh, the direct for the direct subtraction is that uh, as long as we're able to get the the possible basic uh, subtraction principle, that is a zero minus zero is equal to zero, one minus zero is equal to one, and one minus one is equal to zero, we'll be able now to get all the working correct. Okay, so in case guys you have a more example or any challenging part on uh, on the either binary addition or the direct or the binary subtraction, you can reach out to me through the comment section. Just write down your question that is challenging you, or I will get back uh, to you. And also, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share this uh, work with your friends. You can also watch other videos that have explained on how to hard the binaries or not to hard the or, or rather on how to subtract binaries using the one complement and the two complements thank you for taking to time to watch i hope you have learned something bye bye don't forget to subscribe we'll meet another day